sonar or sound navigation and ranging is used by the smaller bats to navigate their way around their environment. They do this by emitting a pulse of ultrasonic sound from the throat or nose. The frequency they use is specific to that type of bat and to the environment in which they live in. As the pulse of a sound bounces back off either obstacles or prey, back towards the bat's ears, you can build up a picture of the near environment so you can navigate around even in total darkness by calculating the interference patterns in the reflected sound. Despite common thoughts about bats being blind, they can actually see quite well in dimly lit environments, and this is generally why they leave their roosts at dusk so they can use their eyesight as well as the sonar to navigate around. Now, many of these smaller bats hunt for insects using sonar. They start out by producing a pulse or a click about 10 times or more per second. But this rises to as much as 200 times per second just as they attempt to capture the insect. This allows them to make very fine adjustments in direction and once honed in on an insect has very little chance of escaping the bat. However, moths, some crickets and a few other insects have developed the ability to detect certain types of ultrasound or it would generally flee any time they hear a sound close to them. And this principle that ultrasonic pest controllers use to repel some insects. Of course, this isn't the only way humans make use of the mechanism of sonar. Most common of these are probably a form of parking sensor in cars. These can be in the form of an ultrasonic pulse normally emitted from the rear of the vehicle when the reverse gear is actually selected. These pulses are then reflected back off any obstructions in the way. The reflected sound is then detected. However, if the object is really small, the sensors don't quite have the ability of a bat to pick up these tiny obstructions. This development in detection was originally designed by Nottingham University as an aid for blind people to navigate without the need for a guide dog. It does leave us with the question where this might, technology might be le leading us next in the form of sonar. What could we use it for? Maybe you might have some ideas.